Alexa, trigger turn on device 1. Sending that to IFT. Hey Google, turn off device 1. Device 1 is now off. Hey, what's up guys, I'm Rupak and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make this amazing home automation system using Google Firebase. You can add relays to the circuit and then you can control real home appliances like air conditioner, television, lights, etc. You can use an Android app, a web browser, a Python script, Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa all at the same time to control your devices. You can build a circuit using ESP8266 or Raspberry Pi or even an Arduino board connected to your PC via USB cable. In this video, I'll give you a tutorial on how you can set up your own home automation system. Setting up the controllers which include the Android app, the web interface and the Python scripts are really easy to configure. But configuring the voice assistants which include Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa are a bit tougher. So I won't include that part in the video. And do let me know if you want to see a separate video on that part. By the way, I use REST API with IFTTT for the voice assistance. The ESP8266 ports or the Raspberry Pi just require a single code to be controlled from any source. And yes, you can control your devices from anywhere on earth. So let's get started and configure our Google Firebase project. For those who are not familiar with Firebase, let me tell you it acts as a bridge between our controller and receiver. It helps them to exchange data. Now I'll show you how you can make a project with Google Firebase and what all you need to do for the setup. Just open Chrome or any other web browser and search for Google Firebase. Open the first link and select go to console sign in using your gmail account click add project enter a project name of your choice hit continue then again hit continue select default account for firebase and select create project it will take a few seconds to create your project. Now again hit continue. Now go to the database section of your project. This is how the screen looks when you open it for the first time. Scroll down a bit until you find real time database and click create database now this is a key important step select start in test mode and click enable dismiss the warning if you want to use your existing project and don't want to create a new project you can go to the rules tab and change the dot read and dot write rules to true manually. Now select the gear icon near project overview and select project settings. Here you can see a project ID. This is the main thing that you need. And for now you are done and you can log out. You just need this project ID everywhere inside the Arduino code or the Python codes or any controller. 
Now I'll tell you how you can set up your controllers and after that we'll move on to flashing codes to ESP8266 and setting up our Raspberry Pi. Let's start with the Android app. So all you need to do is download and install this app from the Google Play Store. You can find the link to the app in the description box. Grant all the permissions if it asks for any. Just make sure that you are connected to the internet. Go to the setup page and enter the project ID that you got from the Google Firebase project and hit save. Go to the home automation tab again and press all the buttons one by one for the first time. Now I'll show you how you can set up the web interface. You need to open this link. You can find it in the description box and you can use it on your computer, macbook, iphone or literally any device which supports a web browser. Here enter the project id and click all the buttons for the first time. You can avoid clicking all the buttons if you have already done that in the android app setup. By the way if you enjoying the video a sub to the channel would be amazing. You can add a shortcut to this link to your home screen or your desktop if you use it too often. Now let's set up our python script. You need to open this repository. Again the link is in the description box. Now open the master folder and copy the script. Paste this script in your favorite IDE and again enter your Firebase project ID at its designated place. Now save the file and run the code. Make sure to press all the buttons for the first time. And again you can avoid this step if you have already done this before. So now we have finished setting up our controllers and now let's set up our receivers. Let's start with ESP8266. You need to add ESP8266 board definition from board manager using the additional board manager link. If you don't know how to do that, I'll leave a link to the tutorial in the description box. You can skip this part if you've already done it. Now you need to download my ESP8266 Firebase library zip file from the link in the description box. You need to install this to your Arduino IDE. If you don't know how to do that, then again I'll leave a link in the description box on how to install the zip libraries to your Arduino IDE. Now attach your ESP8266 port to your PC and select your board and port in the Arduino IDE. Now go to file, examples, ESP8266 Firebase and open the home automation example. Just enter your Wi-Fi SSID and password, then enter your project ID that you got from the Firebase project and upload the code. Now connect 4 LEDs or relays to the pin shown in the wiring diagram. You may change the pin number if you want to use some other pins. As soon as the board gets connected to your Wi-Fi, you can control these LEDs or relays from any controller that you configured. You may see a latency of 5 to 10 seconds or maybe up to 20 seconds sometime. You can use Raspberry Pi to reduce the latency. Now let me show you how you can configure Raspberry Pi for this purpose. You need to open my firebase with python repository to download the code. This link is in the description box. It is the same repository which we used to set up our python script. This time instead of the master folder open the slave folder and copy the script. 
I'm showing this on my PC because I don't have a Raspberry Pi with me right now. It is a partial script and you can add your favorite GPIO pins to the code at the right commented place. Or you may use Pi Serial library to serial communicate with Arduino using USB cable from your PC. For now, it will just print the current status of all the four devices. You need to add the project ID in the code and run it. You would notice that there is a 2 second delay in the end of the loop that's because Firebase allows 50,000 reads and 20,000 writes per day and a 2 second delay keeps you on the safer side if you keep your Raspberry Pi on for 24 7. You can reduce this delay to make the project even more responsive. But then make sure you don't run out of database feeding limits. You would need to turn off the system accordingly for some time in this case. With this we come to the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. You can comment your queries and thank you for watching and I'll see you around.